Hello, this is a guiding video on how to install Manage Invest Statistic version 3. So before starting, please make sure that you're logged in in your computer with administrative rights. Okay, if you have uh, restricted rights, so if you have simple user rights, please log off and log back in with uh, a logon, which uh, will give you full administrative rights. So let's do it. Very good. So the next step here before we do the installation of the program is uh, to make sure that um, your computer has uh, all the uh, mandatory updates from Microsoft. So we check here, Windows Update, and my Windows Update is fully updated. Okay. Then the next thing is to install Management by Statistic. You can do it two ways, depending on what you receive. Okay. Uh, the first way is to use the CD that you receive to purchase the program either from uh, your consultant and um, I have some pictures here so you will have your DVD box in the DVD box there is your instructions and on the back of the instruction there will be the activation code there will be the first CD okay which you will in install on only one computer okay this is for the uh, database installation then there is a second CD which is the program itself managed by statistic this one you will be installing it on all the workstation for which you have uh, purchased um, some uh, user license for. So I will show you how to install Management by Statistic for those who receive an email, particularly for those who, who purchase the uh, download version from um, Master Tech directly. So in the email, there is a link to go to our site where you can download and install Management by Statistic version 3. So this site is 3Ws, mastertech.com, forward slash MBS3, download. This is the site. So I would recommend for you to print this page as it contains the installation. So this is the part one. If you have the CD, that will be your just number one. And this is part two. And this one is for just number two if you have the, the CDs. So let's start with part one. Okay. So basically what we're going to, going to do is to download and install the program. Then we will start it and follow those steps in order to do the database manager. So what is a database manager? This is the part of the program that will take care of your information store it, do uh, regular backups for security purposes, and most importantly, to make your information available to all workstations which will be connected to your computer. So if you have only uh, one computer, like such a laptop, so what you will be doing is installing the first part and the second part on the same computer. Okay, so let's get started. What you need to do is to install the program, is to download uh, the installation file. Just click on it. And um, particularly for those of you who have a server, if you install, you know, sometimes your Internet Explorer, you know, find it suspicious. So you have to allow the program to um, access to this website. Okay. We will do that in the um, Internet Options, Security, Trusted Site, and just add this site. There we go. So now we're ready. So let's click on the link. So I do recommend to click on Save. This is quite a big file, so you want to save it, okay? So depending on uh, your internet connection, okay, it may take, uh, for example, here I have cable, so it's about uh, 10 uh, minutes to download this file. If you have DSL, it may take about half an hour. If you have, um, you know, uh, a better service than uh, cable, it may take just uh, less than a minute. Very good. So when the download is done, usually it will be um, in the folder called Downloads if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Uh, for all the version, you save the, the file in the folder of uh, your choice. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just to close this and go to the Download folder. There we go. This is the file. Just double click on it. Say yes if you're prompted.
very good. Normally, if you you would have done all the all the regular updates from Microsoft, there will be only one pre-requirement which would be needed, and that is the installation of uh, Microsoft SQL Server Express 2008. Okay. If you did not do all the um, update requirements that Microsoft recommends to you to do, you could have uh, more options, uh, more item here to start it. So all you need to do here, basically in this window, you just click on next and the computer will install all the pre-requirements necessary in order to um, install Manage by Statistic. So in this step right now, we're installing Microsoft SQL Server 2008. Basically, this is the engine, the key program that will store your information, manage it, and distribute it. These steps may take about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. Very good. So now all the uh, requirement in order to install the Master Tech Database Manager has been done. So you will get this screen. So just click on Next to continue. Click here. I accept the license agreement. Click on Next. I do recommend default location. Uh, for those of you who have um, a server with um, your own version of um, Microsoft SQL Server, and um, you would like to control of uh, the location of where the uh, the database will be installed, please uh, contact us at my email, techsupport at mastertech.com for specific instructions on how to do so. For everyone else, I do recommend the default location. You will have the best installation procedure by doing so. So let's click on next. Make sure you have all the users. Next, next. Very good. So at this point, we are done with step number one. We'll go to uh, step number two, which is to uh, start the program. Okay, just click on finish. I have this enabled, so just click on finish. So you are now starting the database manager for the first time. And by doing so for the first time, we'll be prompt to create a database because there is none already created at this moment. So let's click on yes. Very good. Now, here you're prompt to create a database password. Okay, so create a unique password for the database. This password will be used on all computers on your network. Okay, this password should be different from your own personal password. Basically what it is, it's a password to allow the database to communicate with part two, which we will install later on, okay? This is not a user password. It's just between the database and the programs across your network. So I will create a unique password. So for those of you who have those uh, brand new version of Windows Server, Microsoft uh, has been enforcing like a higher complexity password. So the requirement is um, eight to nine characters minimum with at least one capital letters and one digit in your password. Let's click OK. Very good. At this point, you're prompt to enter the activation key. Uh, for those of you who have the CD, this is on the back of your instruction sheets. For those who have the email, the code is provided in your email. So I will go and fetch mine. Okay. So for those of you who have the email, the best is to copy the activation key from your email. And when you come here, you just click on paste. And here is your code. Um, the activation key also determine the number of users, uh, the licensing that um, you purchase. So for those of you who purchase a single user, you have uh, two extra bonus users. That's why you see number three. For those of you who are, who are typing the um, activation code, uh, there are no zeros in the code. So this, for example, would be a capital O. Okay, so there would be capital O or small O's. And um, uh, make sure that you look at the, the number one and the, the letter L are different. Okay, so let's click on next. Very good. So at this point, this is the uh, registration form. Okay, so the licensee is required to enter his information.
but I did. So once you enter the information, I do recommend to do the internet registration. This um, uh, offers offers you a free technical support uh, from us. Very good. Just click on finish. Okay. At this point, we are done with part one. And again, uh, part one it's only done once. Okay. You do it on your main computer, or if you have a server, you do it on your server. Okay. This is the part that will control and uh, maintain your information. It does nothing else. So um, before closing, it is very, very important because we've been going through all of those steps. Okay, we're at the last steps right now. Okay, it is very important to take note of the connection settings. Okay, so you can uh, make a screenshot or you can write the information. The, the key part are those last four lines. Okay, for so my example here, we'll take a screenshot. There we go. And OK. Uh, one more thing you could do is to go to the database connection settings and use print connection settings to print the information about the name of your server and particularly the password for the database. OK. So I will close this part. OK. So we're now done with um, step one. And we'll go ahead and go to step two for the um, Managing by Statistic program. OK. OK. So um, part two can be done on multiple computers. OK. What you would do is to go to the workstation where you will be using the program. So let's go to the workstation in a second. OK. Very good. Now, we are installing the uh, the application. So again, I do recommend to log in with administrative rights to install the program. Once the installation is done, you can log off and log back in with your regular user login um, credentials. So let's do that. Okay. So we are on the workstation. Here we have uh, Windows 7. Let's go on the internet. Very good. So we're going to go to mastertech.com forward slash mbs3 download. Very good. Now this time we're doing part two. Now if you have to do this on multiple computers, I do recommend to do the download once and uh, save the installation file on um, a shared folder on your server. Okay, so all you need to do is once you go to the next workstation, you just open that shared folder on your server and you start the installation file from that location. So in my example, I will click right here, save. Again, this is another big file. This one is a little bit smaller than the other one. Very good. So I can close this. So now we did downloading and we'll be installing. So let's go to the uh, download folder, locate the uh, installation file. So this one is MasterTech MBS3 setup. That's to install the application itself. Now this last step here will be a lot faster than uh, the first part. Very good. So let's click on next. Agree for the license agreement. The username, the organization. I do recommend the default location and all users, particularly if you're installing as with administrative rights, you would like to have uh, anybody else logging on this computer to access the program, you will need all users. Next, install. Very good. So we're now done with um, step one of part two. We'll be um, starting the program. So I do recommend to leave a check mark here and just click finish to start it. So when you're starting the uh, management by statistic for the first time, there is the database connection settings appearing on your screen. But uh, this is the screen which um, will allow you to connect to your database server. Okay, so if you do remember, uh, on uh, part one on your server or your main computer where you install the uh, database uh, manager, uh, you were told to 
take some notes about the server name, which is server uh, L1, MBS Data Express, and uh, the database password for the database, okay, which uh, you would have created. This is the one I did here. So let's come back. So here I see that uh, this uh, server exists. You may have more if you have uh, other applications which uh, have their own uh, uh, Microsoft SQL databases. But the one you want is the one that was written in the notes, okay? So in my case, there was only one, so I select this guy. There we go. And I will do a, a test connection. Very good. Now, if you do not see anything in this box, okay, just type the name, and you can click search, okay? Uh, after you did search, click on get list to make sure that you have MBS data there. Now, you, MBS data may already appear here, but still do get list if you wrote the past here. If you have any difficulties to connect with your database server, 99.999% of the time, you have a firewall issue. So I do recommend to click on help and uh, the help section, uh, you know, like if you're having trouble to connect to the database, you can click here. And um, uh, there is a checklist of things you can go through, okay? So at this point here, okay, we are very, uh, we're almost done with the installation of the program. And now you're almost ready, okay? You are the last step, okay? So you'll be clicking on the button OK, and you'll be prompt to enter your username and password. So again, the username here is uh, admin, and the password is password. And um, that information was provided when you finish the installation of part one, the database manager. So uh, let's go here. Okay, so let's click on OK. There we go. So we'll be tapping admin. This is the, the user ID and password by default when you use a program for the first time. Uh, once you're signed in, you could uh, change uh, those uh, uh, user ID and password. Okay, so you are now ready to start um, using the program. So for each Windows, you will see there is a help section. Okay, I do recommend if you want to know more about what that particular step does, you can use the help section. Okay, uh, so each step uh, will guide you to the point where at the end you will be able to enter your statistic. I will be making a special video about uh, this uh, guide later on, okay? But uh, this step is pretty self-explanatory, okay? And those of you who have the old version of Management by Statistic, I do recommend to click on Cancel, okay? And uh, go to Administration, and go to Maintain Companies, and click on the import data from previous versions, okay? So uh, for those of you who have the old version on different computer, you would need to find the old database on the old computer, uh, copy it on the flash drive, for example, okay, and bring it on this computer so you can open it from this wizard here, okay? Um, I will do also a video about how to go about and doing that steps, okay? So in terms of installing the program, part one and part two, we're done at this point. Okay, so um, uh, again, part one, you install it on only one computer, which would be your main computer or server if you do have one. And um, the part two, okay, will be on all the workstation for which you have purchased uh, some uh, user license. Okay, uh, if you have uh, any questions, you can contact us uh, here at Master Tech. Uh, our phone number is 727. 2160642, or you can write to our tech support line, which is tech support at mastertech.com. Thank you for listening.